In the latest development in one of wrestling's biggest stories, I'll say, Vince McMahon has voluntarily stepped down as WWE chairman and CEO while the company's special committee of the board investigates alleged misconduct. Stephanie McMahon was named interim CEO and chairwoman until the investigation concludes. However, Vince McMahon, quote, will retain his role and responsibilities related to WWE's creative content during this period and remains committed to cooperating with the review underway. Stephanie tweeted she will be returning from her leave of absence, assuming the role of interim chairman and CEO. I love our company. Excited to work with uh, Nick Khan, etc. On Wednesday, the Wall Street Journal revealed the board was investigating Vince McMahon over a $3 million hush pact with a former employee, from which he allegedly had a relationship with, in addition to other potential non-disclosure agreements. They announced they were a uh, special committee had been uh, created to investigate these allegations into alleged misconduct by Vince and John Laurinaitis, head of talent relations. By the way, as of today, nothing on J- on John Laurinaitis. Nothing. Zero zilch. Uh, meaning he hasn't been fired. I'm trying to figure out what that means. The special committee has appointed Stephanie to serve as interim CEO and interim chairwoman. So then we find out today that uh, Vince is going to be on SmackDown tonight. Now, a lot, a lot has been said about Vince McMahon appearing on SmackDown tonight. The release from WWE referred to him as Mr. McMahon, which, of course, is his character. I believe it might have been uh, MSNBC or something had reported that he would be doing a, quote, in-character interview on the show tonight. Obviously, everybody is expecting he's going to come out in front of the crowd. I think it would be much wiser for him to do a pre-tape, because I've seen live Vince McMahon, and it would be a much better idea for him to do a pre-tape. But uh, listen, when SmackDown airs, we'll find out what happened. Until then, it's Vince, dude. He can change his mind. It's, it is the idea of Vince McMahon coming out in character to do a segment live on SmackDown tonight is a level of madness that I cannot even begin to comprehend. I would presume, and I shouldn't presume this because the guy is like, he's nuts, but I would presume that you should just do a pre-tape deal and say, basically what they said in the press release, I am stepping down, you know, I respect the board, whatever they determine is whatever they determined, enjoy the show tonight. Him coming out live, doing his strut, having all of the fans. I had somebody the other day go, oh, no matter what happens, Vince can never appear in front of the fans again. I was like, what planet do you live on? This dude comes out strutting tonight. They're all going to go like this. They're all going to cheer. You all know this. So we'll see what happens here tonight. But as far as like what all of this means, I mean, Vince... He's he's stepping down, but still doing everything that he was doing on a daily basis. He's still writing the shows. He's still tearing up scripts. It is beyond fascinating that Stephanie McMahon took her, quote, leave of absence. They buried her first privately and then later publicly. And now here she is back as the new chairwoman and CEO of WWE. You can't write stuff this good. And uh, why they buried her. How all of this ties in, I know everyone has a thousand theories, and we don't know anything, okay? We don't know anything. You can come up with any conspiracy theory that you want. The only other thing that I will say, the only other thing that I will say is that they have made it clear that uh, there have been other non-disclosure agreements, and they mentioned Vince McMahon And they mentioned John Laurinaitis, okay? The investigation is ongoing. The big question, and the next hammer that could fall, is if there are other non-disclosure agreements involving other people. And I'm not saying that there are, but I am saying that I wouldn't be surprised. Nor honestly is this like something that anybody listening to this would probably be surprised by. But this investigation is ongoing, and I expect that there will be more 
that will come out. And I, I think that uh, when that happens, then we can talk about it. But until then, there's a lot of speculation. You know, fans have been asking a lot of questions. I apologize for the other night on Observer Radio when I got very angry because some one of the questions was, where will everything be in a year? Bro, <laughs> dude, Wednesday night, where will everything be in a year? Dude, nobody, nobody would have predicted in two days Stephanie McMahon was going to be the chairwoman and the CEO of WWE. Nobody. So I can sit here and I could say, well, maybe this and maybe that and da-da-da. Bro, we don't know nothing other than what has come out. If you want to ask, like, you know, what, what have the wrestlers been told? The wrestlers have been told virtually nothing. The wrestlers know what you know right now. They haven't given him any other whatever. And Pat McAfee, I think, did a thing today, and he's totally in the dark. It's a shoot. Everybody's in the dark. Nobody knows anything. So, uh, yeah, that's that's the update as of right now. For those of you guys who want a breaking news audio, I mean, there's nothing to break except what's out. Everything else is speculation. You know, why was Stephanie buried? I don't know. There's a lot we don't know. So, I think a better question is kind of who, you know, and because Claudine Lillian was leaving around the same time, and they were very unhappy, obviously, with her performance. She had only been there, what, a year and she kind of fell into some of the things that Stephanie was doing as far as merchandising and branding and content pushing and all that sort of stuff. So probably something I'll ask Dave, because that's interesting to me. Was it somebody from the board? Obviously, because you nobody... talk about who sent this email. No, not no, not who sent the email, who actually was doing the bearing of Stephanie McMahon. Oh, well, because I mean, I know, but I mean, it's not like, well, who is it? But it's not somebody that, uh, I mean, I know everyone's going to be really mad at me, but it's not my thing. It's not my place to say this. It's, is it, it was, somebody on the board? Is it somebody? Because I don't believe it was somebody on the board. But because that's, and listen, that's only the one that I heard about. I don't know who they had. I know that they were getting the word out privately first that she sucked at her job. Well, that's then the it, story came out where they publicly said that she sucked at her job. But it, 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 I don't well, think. Well, they, they said it was, they said it a lot softer than that. And that's why, be, and the fact that Vince or nobody, pushed back at all once that Business Insider thing came out at the beginning of the month. You know, that's why I was curious as to, to who it was, because obviously it feels like it was rubber stamped, obviously, by Vince, but I was wondering if it came from the board, if it came from who it actually came from, and how heavy was that burial behind the scenes? Because obviously, well, the person, you see where she's at today. You could you could ask Andrew Ziri, and he's talked about it a lot, and he he uh, was was directly told. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure, and, and I think it's pretty clear, actually, with Stephanie in charge right now, I don't think that one had anything to do with the other. These are two separate stories that are now connected in a completely bizarre way. The, the best theory that I've heard, which, you know, I think it's nuts, but the best theory that I've heard is Stephanie was going to step away, and they were concerned that news of her departure would cause like this big, you know, stock, stock market crash dump. or stock crash. <laughs> and so silly. so the the idea was, well, if we bury her and say she sucked <laughs> and that we're replacing her with people who are better, then the stock won't tank. And honestly, that's like the best theory that I've heard. But even that it's like, well, then you'd have to like clear this with Stephanie. Stephanie, listen. Yeah. We're concerned about the stock falling. <laughs> yeah. And so we want to publicly tell everyone that you suck. Are you okay with that? Which, you know, given how much money but she has tied up I in was... stock, she might be like, yeah, save my stock. <laughs> but it just seems ridiculous. But but that's why I was wondering who actually said it, because then we have a situation where now she's also now back as the figurehead face of the company right now, while Vince, quote unquote, steps aside here. And it was amazing at seven o'clock Eastern time this morning to start getting texts about WWE has released a press release. And then they follow it up with Vince going to be on TV tonight. Amazing. And Vinny has driven all the way here. And his camera's not working. Oh, cool. Classic. It's pointing at the back of the TV. All Riveting. right. Yep. We go that way. Uh, nope. Wrong way, bro. 180 degrees oh. the wrong way. Oh. Yep. We don't need two cameras on me. Hey, oh, here yeah. he is. By the way, you need a good nose hair trimming. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, 
the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.